Hi friends, good evening everyone. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about uh, the process called material status. What is this material status and uh, how does it help business to do regular activities? For example, there are multiple material status are there. One is you can keep the status at the client level. You can keep the status at the plant level, means purchasing that level. And you can keep the status at the sales sales organization, that level you can keep it. Let's take an example today at the, when you're keeping at the plant level. So how does it impact and where do you configure the status? So let us check this uh, concept here. Go to SPRO, reference IMG, logistics general, material master, settings for key fields. Here there is a configuration called define material statuses. Let's take it. Uh, okay, I created one thing. You can show you the block it for procurement. They want to block for it procurement activities. So then uh, you can keep it, go to the details. See what I have done. Whenever they do the purchasing, give the error message, okay? And uh, for warehouse and all, you may give warning, but no need to give error. So that's what I put it. You can control that whether you wanted to use for uh, MRP related, whether you want to allow or not, okay? Uh, production order, whether you want to allow, these all controls also you can keep. So let me create one more thing called jet two. This is for blocked for goods movements or blocked for goods. So blocked for goods movements. So let me make it maybe blocked for stock movements. Blocked for inventory. Okay, no option. So blocker for goods movement. For this, what will I do? For purchasing, I will remove. And uh, for inventory management, I'm going to keep it error message. And for transfer requirement and transfer order also will keep it error because no WM or any inventory things you don't want to allow. So keep the status here. So this is the configuration different material status. Now what we are going to do, add the material, go to purchasing 1710. So Z1, I'm keeping the status Z1 and valid from 23 July 2024. Okay, past today. So from today, it is valid. So how will be the behavior? Go into ME21N and uh, so take any okay. So let's change the material. You can see the message here, error message. Status block for procurement of material does not allow you the external procurement. So that is the use of, you can stop the procurement, but you can use this material for doing any of your activities, the like sales, transfers, let us do it. MM. B one seven one zero. So this material is available in RM zero one. 
and uh, okay our favorite transaction maybe we can mb1c sorry mmsc i want to extend this one to other storage location what other storage locations are available rm02 okay going to migo and uh, i want to transfer from three pieces 17102 and uh, okay no migo transfer posting 311 this is the material 1710 location is rm012 rm02 quantity 20 okay one step stock transfer whereas and h1 h2 not possible okay maybe it was activated for different thing so what will i open one MMSC one seven one eight. We extend it to another one now doing Migo. I want to show you that system is allowing you to do the 1710 RM01 to 1718. Quantity of 10. Okay, post. So, what I want to show you the material status you can control, block for procurement, but allow for doing the goods issue because they want they don't want to procure any more of that material but uh, they want to clear whatever stock is available. So during that kind of business case, you cannot do the deletion flag and all. It will block for everything, right? So, but uh, by using the material status, you block for the procurement, no more procurement of the material, but you have some stock which is left. That stock you are going to use for the sales, uh, transfers, those things. Same material, we want to purchasing. 1710 will change the status to Z2. So now how will be the behavior? Go to ME21N and uh, this is little rare, uh, not little, mostly uh, negligible cases where they stop the uh, inventory movements but allow the procurement. That case is very less. I think almost no. Okay, but to stop procurement, allow inventory is a quite common scenario because when they decided to stop that material anymore, then uh, business wanted to clear their available stock. So at that point of time, business will uh, allow the all transfers, scrapping or uh, sales, everything they will allow, but they don't allow any more procurement. Looks great. ME twenty one N So go to ME twenty one N and uh, so give the material
see system is allowing you to procure it you're able to get the po but go to migo and uh, try to do any transfer by quantity click on check button see here material has status block for goods moment so you cannot do that so that is the uh, importance of material status i hope you can manage the how the configuration and based on the requirement this one is like, like uh, stop procurement and um, allow goods moments is a quite common stop procurement allow sales is also quite common but the allow procurement but stop goods moment would be rare scenario so when the business is asking you need to ask them what is the purpose it looks weird if you procure you will fail during goods receipt right because system will make you error so those kind of things we have to explain. Maybe they are in confusion. They can uh, rectify the requirement. So as a consultant, you need to understand and explain the business, what is important and what is uh, correct and what kind of challenges will happen if they make certain kind of settings. We have to explain. That's it for today and uh, thanks for watching. I hope uh, this material status concept and how to configure and how to test what are the business requirements we discussed in this video. If you like the video, keep sharing with your friends. Thank you. Thanks for watching.